Well, here's hoping, I actually was trying to look this up, but I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm hoping this doesn't trigger like super in-game content. <laughs> I'm not done. I still need to do bog stuff. Apparently this tree is in the underdark. I don't know. So I saw, I looked it up. Something. I saw something about it. And I need to figure out how to destroy that book. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? I like how they just kind of invited themselves. We're not doing the party here at the grove. Excellent. Lead the way. But they just kind of invited themselves <laughs> to a party of I can't. Oh! <laughs> no, no, an Albert. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. They're cute. Oh my gosh, who's playing with my puppy? You're my new best friend. This is cool, Halsons over here. Oh my gosh, Lizelle, did you, did you make a friend? Oh, Asterion has something he wants to say. I'm sure he's upset about all the people being here. I wonder if these were a bunch of people I was supposed to- Oh, there's Shadowheart. Be yep, the figures. She'd be over in the corner. Okay, where did I go? I'm standing next to Carla. Where's Gale? Gale. Oh, he has. What? Is this Gale's or is that mine? There he is. Okay, let's talk to Carlac. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's yeah. nice to be somewhere where good is still possible and with such lovely company. D do I just gonna faint with you and just lately I feel like I can remember what it's like to be good. She's got to have had a really hard time for one thing truly like not being touched at all. Like no no it's not even the touch thing, it's like the friendly uh, like any sort of friendliness, you know, any sort of like camaraderie, you know, she couldn't have that for the last 10 years. Like, I'm surprised she's still like as happy and chipper as she is. And after all that time, she still wants to be good. Okay, whoever that favorite person, favorite person right there, she still wants to be good, you know, like she's a good person. Uh, I can get to I can imagine there weren't a lot of chances for do-goodery in Avernus. I tried in the beginning. <laughs> Blew up in my face spectacularly. Lesson learned. Never try to befriend a devil, cambion, or imp. Orphans are good for a drink and joke. But you can't turn your back on them. But hey, enough about that. That's history now. I want to think about the future. The With one me? nice thing about being trapped in the inexorable grind of time <laughs> is you've always got something to look forward to. That's a good way to look at it. On a, the one, nine, one nice thing about being trapped in the inexorable grind of time is you've always got something to look forward to. Yeah. You get that cross stitched and put it on your wall. I like that. I want to be close to you now, 10 minutes from now, 10 years from now. Uh, that's true, and I'm looking forward to spending more time with you. I don't want to be like too, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be like over the top, but I don't want to be too over the top. Me too. I don't think I've ever looked forward to anything as much. You better go enjoy the party before I do something I'll regret. I like you unburnt after all. Go, oh, thanks. Oh my gosh. Bye, soldier. Go. Oh. Praise. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh, I'm not gonna How make far it. Can I go? What are you? You had an exclamation point. Now you don't. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here, you hate it. <laughs> I hate it. This is awful. <laughs> Uh, really? Saving lives is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Pfft. Just drink some blood. Take his bottle and try the wine. Uh... I'm going to, yeah. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> Just leave. <laughs> What's your idea of... Uh, okay, let's... We should be humoring for a bit, for a second. Uh, mm. By the hells. Sex, my dear. <laughs> a night of passion. What's going on in the background? Somebody's invisible behind him. Not I can with see. You. Just yes. To be clear. No, I don't <laughs> want it. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. No. Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. What is going on back here? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. You know what? No. All I want is a little fun. I'm gonna. Is that so much to ask? I'm gonna do what I actually wanted to do, which was leave. That's a no <laughs> for fun, then. <laughs> I actually didn't think he'd react to that. I thought I would just like turn around and leave. Bye. Be careful, girl. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Uh, thank you. I really don't think I did that much, but where's my dog? I saw my dog running around. Come on, Alfie. Make it spicy. Spicy? All right. Um, hearts a quiver. We raised our bows. None of that poetic stuff. Something like goblins swarmed, but we were brave and fried them all with a thunder wave. <laughs> but that's not what happened. Live a little. Try not to get too close, Cal. Yes. Remember what happened last time? I was eight, and you magicked up a kitten. How was I supposed to know it was made of fire? What? As sour as this ale. We're supposed to be... My dog. I like these people. They're, They're joyful. joyful. It's, it's contagious. He's having such a good time. My puppy is having such a good time. I'm so happy. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. She's beautiful. Thinking of writing my next song about you. <gasps> she is wearing a Jester's uniform. Any ideas? Have you seen this body? <laughs> uh, it would be a crime not to sing about it. No, this, that's what I think. What would she say? Uh, how about Courage? Classic song material. Fitting. You're braver than half this camp combined. That deserves to be remembered. I feel like people are... I really feel like I haven't done that much. Like, honestly. Like, even in the game, and like, as an individual within the game, like, oh, everything we've done really has been, like, group effort. And I... There is no way in which I stand out. Which is fine. Like, I don't mind. But then everyone's like, you're the greatest thing. And I'm like, I really didn't do much, but okay. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Uh -huh. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. Uh, what? Eh? I smell their blood on you still. I'd have liked to have tasted it. Too bad for us both, your bunk will be quite busy. <laughs> Take all the pleasures you can before dawn brings their end. And she was good. Did... Excuse me? 
I did not think she would want to jump my bones. I am gorgeous, but it's the bloodlust, I guess. I don't know. I don't mind. She's not, like, far down on the list. Asterion's at the bottom of the list right now. And Shadowheart is right above him. And then Lizelle. So it goes... No more. What do you say? Um, I can't afford to lose any more of them. Oh, he's just trying so hard. Um, like, in a good way. Like, he just wants everybody to be safe and happy. It's Carlac, Gale, Will, Lizelle, Shadowheart, Asterion. That's more like it. How many goblins did we keep? You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But even so, thank you. You're welcome. No, I am happy to see everybody be happy. Was it? Oh no, okay, she's just wandering around. I'm a little scared <laughs> to click on him. Because I've heard about what House is willing to do. Oh my god. Gosh. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. Okay. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. You could, you could take a bath. You guys, there's a stream right there. Uh, there's other things we could do besides talking. I'd like to get to know you some more. We'll have time to spare for that, I sense. I'm surprised you haven't had your fill of me already. Oh my god, we did one mission together. Hardly, uh, uh, okay, we'll talk another time. These look a little too forward. He's very handsome, don't get me wrong. Halson's up there. Like, I don't think he, I don't know if he can be like a permanent romance, actually. But if I had to include Halson, he'd be up there. He might actually be up above, well, him and Will are tied. Him and Will are tied. Yes. Yes. For a third. Um... Like, I, w I want to talk to him. I don't want to, like, I don't want to jump him. And I definitely don't want to see the, the bear scene is so funny, though. If you guys don't know what it is, I'm, like, half tempted to put it in. Just so you guys, I haven't actually watched it. But I did see the clip where, like, where the squirrel drops its squirrel, drops its nut. And its jaw just drops out of shock. It's like, Whoa! It's so funny. If you haven't looked it up, you should look it up. I don't feel like I want to include it, but needless to say, things can get very spicy with <laughs> also. And the man can shapeshift, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll have to try that out. <laughs> One of my friends said she, as a druid, she with people were, like, asking her who she wanted to sleep with essentially on the because we were all like we seeing who was like sleeping with who which is such a funny thing when i say it out loud it's just funny to think about it in like real life but it's like a video game and we're all like who are you sleeping with <laughs> and all of us were and she was like oh without hesitation i'm gonna be, i'm gonna go with halson on the party and uh she was like i want to see if there can be some bear on bear action <laughs> i just lost it i was crying with laughter it was so funny i was like oh my gosh because uh, she's a druid that's right i don't know if i mentioned that but she also is a druid who can shapeshift into a polar bear oh so funny go on enjoy yourself seek out some wine before it runs dry there are a lot of thirsty people around here. I wonder if he's the only druid. I want to tell him to go mingle. Enjoy yourself tonight. Uh okay. I wanted to tell him, because that, that was one of the other options, is you could tell him to go have a good time. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. What? Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh are you all... Oh, because he needs to dance. No. Yeah. I'm deeply proud of you. Oh. A touch less so of myself. Oh, why? In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down. As I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Do you see who is at my party? Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. Oh my gosh. 
Now's no time for pity. Sorry it has you feeling rough tonight. Oh. I'm a little worried because I'm trained on Bioware, right? Where, like, generally the top answers are the positive ones, the bottom ones, or, you know, like, there's a specific order to, like, positive and, like, negative responses. But honestly, like, I know he's trying to diffuse it with humor, and I could be, like, you know, trying to be like, oh, I don't find you that way, or whatever, but that's not the point, it seems like, at least if I'm reading this right, like, He's upset about how the people that he cares about, in general, are perhaps unsettled by him. But half the people over there are tieflings. Like, they don't care. But... And you could be like, you're fetching horns, you know, I'm envious. But it's not about me, and it's not about using humor. I think I'd rather just, like, cut to the chase and be like, you know, I'm sorry you're feeling this way. Like, you know? Just, just recognize, like, have him recognize that I see... I see that, you know? I'll be fine. Seeing you has cheered me more than you can know. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Uh... I mean, I want to dance with him. Hang on. But I just want to dance as, like, friends? I don't know if that's possible. I want to dance with you. <laughs> I'm afraid my feet are firmly planted to the ground this evening. Sometime alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Okay. Promise. Okay. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. It's honestly, it was really nice to have him say I'm proud of you. I was like, oh man, thanks. You've definitely got some dad energy. I'm definitely talking to Gail last. <laughs> um. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Oh, is it? You nerd? Or possibly turnip. Nerd. <laughs> no, it's cute. I need to dance! Okay. No. No, I need to lie down. <laughs> Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland? Oh my gosh. Hush you. And behold! It was sparkly. Is, is that it? I'll have you know, he can also make them blue. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. I think they're all very cute and very funny. I'm happy for them. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. Hello. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. I think you guys will do pretty well. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. You should join them. Have a pint or two. It's not, it doesn't take much, apparently. I think I was supposed to have met most of these people and I did not click on everybody in the grove, so now I feel kind of bad. That was a lot of people to click on, which I was amazed that every single one of them did seem to have like a cutscene of some sort. Like cutscenes are the expensive parts. Like usually the game will just like zoom in, you know, and it doesn't like break for a cutscene. So all these cutscenes I'm seeing are actually blowing my mind. Like honestly, for even just like your average NPC or just like a one-liner, they're having a cutscene. I'm not used to that. It's crazy. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Are you a wannabe paladin? Oh wait. To beds and hearths, to dirty pubs and dwarven ale. You'll do great. Where's the... Withers is over here and people are like, yeah, it's fine. There's an undead guy over there. It's fine. 
That's my girl. All right, time to talk to Shadowheart, who is the furthest away. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Roselle. Uh Refugees? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Are you worried Char won't approve? Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Char. But there'll be time for penance later. Well, you did a good thing. You shouldn't have to penance Shadow from that. trails off and glances around at the party. She turns back to you. Mildly surprised you're still there. You look like you had more I to say. I thought you might have wanted to mingle with the others. Are you trying to get rid of me? No, but I thought you might be keen to get away from me. We haven't always seen eye to eye, after all. Besides, I'm sure there's plenty of people who'll be keen to celebrate most thoroughly with you. Thank you. Others, what do you mean? I mean, you saved the grove. I'm sure you'll find you're quite popular if you look around. We all did that together. Like, I don't understand why everyone keeps thinking I spearheaded it. I mean, technically, yes. As as the protagonist, like I am the protagonist, but I didn't do anything exceptional. It's bugging me a little bit, honestly. Like I cannot think of why I am the exceptional one here and why everybody's following my lead when we're all in the same boat. Again, I don't mind. I actually really like that approach. That there's nothing particularly special about me, but then parts of the game keep trying to treat me like there are, and I'm like, no, hiya. <laughs> in that case, I'll leave you to enjoy your evening. Have fun. And don't be a stranger. I'll bring you more, more Shadowheart. Shadowheart's not. I do like Shadowheart. And her story's gonna be really interesting, I think, honestly. Who's like living in this? Is that where I sleep? I bet you that's where I sleep. If the owner has any sense, they'll hire you on the spot. Elf Song Tavern? I know that name. Okay, was that. Was that everybody? I think it was. Okay. <laughs> Time to go talk to Gail. I need a quick save before that. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of the celestial canvas. To Truly. You, I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some <sighs> ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. Even ink <laughs> glinting in the firelight, really? Like what a what a description, right? Also, well, now I'm like, okay, never mind. Like, I think the guy's still pining. He's still pining for her, so now I feel weird about it. Are you talking about your cat? Oh my gosh. Sounds fun. Not everyone is comfortable being alone with their thoughts. Though I never felt alone with a book in my hand. Or with her for company. I speak of Tara. My trusted oh. assistant. My constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently, after I was afflicted with my condition. I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. She's inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself. But Tara never did. 
was her encouragement. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. Was she gone? I was going to say, she must be very smart to have done all that. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. Is it the cat? Is it the... There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of... Are, to be are frank, you quite dire odds. I wish she were here for me to me. make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, are you talking... She was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattail. <laughs> mortal so friends. That's what I'm doing. Is he talking about the cat? So I remind you of your pet. I did not realize his cat's name was Tara. I, I appear I am only making that leap to cat because of the pet line earlier. Um What if she doesn't like me? She'll love you. So long as you don't rub her belly. She hates it when anyone does that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I feel like I'm taking this conversation on a weird route to get to the, the end is going to be the same regardless, most likely anyway, but the, the route I'm taking to get there, I feel like I took an odd one. Well, looks like my only option really is instead of being like that's nice but is do you like having your belly rubbed <laughs> the pleasures uh, i experienced in mistress embrace go far beyond the thrill of having one's tummy tucked. okay that's nice i remember once she took the smallest piece of the weave and made it into wait are you saying <sighs> you know what i think i've clearly had far too much white and you've had nowhere near enough I think this is a conversation best held back on, for now. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue... Dang it, well... ...may tip it over the edge, so to speak. Go! Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. Well then, never mind. <laughs> This is not at all playing out how I thought it would play. Well, okay, let's see if Halston, we can, I might reload. Enjoy yourself yep. tonight. We are reloading. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a 10 day or more. Not that I don't appreciate your must <laughs> actually rather excuse like me <laughs> well it seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbering so on. i did change it a little bit because i wanted to see i also did ask about the pet apparently it's not just any cat she's a tessim or something um looks like a cat but isn't a cat i don't know um but so i changed it <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, there is water everywhere. How could I not have? Should I just like? Can I just like get in the water and run around in the water? Maybe I should do that. Maybe that would help. They're usually more erudite. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're not so bad yourself. Hang on. I'm curious about these two. You're usually more erudite, or the don't stop now. But I think this is more like what she would say. You're not, you're not so bad yourself. Like you're usually more erudite. Ah, wine is to wit as meat is to. To. <laughs> to... Oh, can't bloody remember. <laughs> there I go then, proving your point. Perhaps we'd better leave it at that. My eloquent tongue isn't worthy of your ear at present. With my condition as volatile wow. as it is, I fear any undue 
Excitement may tip it over the edge, so to speak. Go indulge in the frivolities. Uh, They're good for the heart. I freaking Carlax like yeah, get the bookworm to <laughs> to to hang out with. I'm like okay. Turns out they're both explosive. And literally, I can't, they're both literally ticking time bombs, and I can't touch either of them because they'll literally blow up. <laughs> anyway, I have talked to everybody else. We're going to see how the house and conversation goes. I'm going to put the F5 again. Yeah, I've talked to everyone else. Yep, yep, yep. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. You need a shower, too. Well, I thought you might care to have a drink with me. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person oh, I me? <laughs> uh, I fail to see the problem. Then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. Perhaps with something else you'd rather do that. I'm in it to win it, guys. Hmm. I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely... Resourceful. I had expectations for this night. <laughs> but there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself. As enjoyable as that may be. I... Okay, apparently... Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. You know, I just realized, I was going to say, apparently I'm just not actually wanted. Like, ev like everyone keeps saying, oh, I'm sure somebody, there's uh, loads of people who want to sleep with you. And I'm like, oh. Like, nobody wants to sleep with me, it turns out. You know, which, this is fine. She actually does, but like, I mean, they say they do. Everybody says they do, and then they're like, now, but now I'm thinking, if I go to bed, is that when <laughs> someone's gonna show up? It is a good thing I've saved a couple times. Seems simple enough. Just in case things go, maybe not. Maybe we just, maybe this is just Buzz the end. Of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Well, You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. Invisible people! Uh... While away the night, fantasizing where Gail could take you in the weave, spend the night thinking of Karlak. With a profane flush of arousal, <laughs> you realize she may well be doing this. <laughs> okay, there's people everywhere. <sighs> well, Har. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. Thank you. I am incredibly... It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented. Dangerous souls. Hmm. We're still in our gym jams. We should not still be in our gym jams. Uh, the Absolute's forces can tolerate such a place? So it seems, though I don't know how. You'll have to choose your approach carefully. Underground. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go uh -huh. under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of dark justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there, 
They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Good thing I know that. Hmm. Angel Dark isn't my home. The surface is my home. Oh, I found the hidden entrance in the Temple of Salud, and the way is clear. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. Oh, yeah. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. He does seem like a wise druid, you know? What about the grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. What about one of the other? Oh, couldn't Nettie take over? Yeah. I need her to stay focused on her training. The Grove will need a skilled healer in my absence. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Um... Well, this I feel like it would cause... I, I want to ask, won't this cause resentment? I feel like bringing in a new person that's not a part of the Grove might cause an issue. That's what happens in, like, corporate situations a lot of times. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. He's very nice. He's a nice smile. Like, nice eyes. Completed. Save. Yay. So now I have the time to do the rest of my stuff that I want to do. And the tieflings have left for Baldur's Gate. All right. Well, that did not, that did not go at all how I thought it would go. Dang it. <laughs> I was under the impression that you'd be, you get to hang out with somebody, that you'd get to romance somebody at the party, but, eh, alas. Not my luck. But I have been very unlucky in this game, so that's just probably par for the course, honestly. Um... So we can do now the Githyanki. We can do the Bog. Oh, I can't see it. Um, and the Duke. That's right. Yes, 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 yes. That was nice. It's always nice to have the party episode. It was nice to see everybody getting along. Um, yeah, I think I'll call it there, honestly. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. <laughs> so thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.